What's up guys, it's Crayfish Obsession here, and today we're going to be talking about shell rot and how you can treat shell rot with the crayfish. So shell rot is a really common disease for crayfish, um, and kind of the reason I'm making this video is because one of my crayfish actually has come down with shell rot, or it had shell rot when it came, um, which is actually, sadly, our Cherax Pulcher has shell rot and two pretty big lesions of shell rot um came that way and i didn't it was my fault i did not check and thoroughly inspect the crayfish when i first got it i just came back from china and i was really tired so i was just wor more worried about um getting that crayfish alive back because they actually ended up shipping it early so a friend had to go pick it up and it was a really hassle i completely forgot to inspect it still completely my fault um it was only a couple days ago when i discovered that our sharax pulcher tibby actually has two cases of shell rot so what is shell rot well there's two kinds of shell rot and basically the 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 normal one you get is dinimeria and this is like smaller lesions and then ramularia is the more deadly one and that um are those ones are very big and those ones usually kill your crayfish uh, more often now shell rock goes by a couple names uh notably like black spot brown spot burn spot rust spot rust disease shell rot obviously and sometimes it's called box burnt disease basically all the same thing uh the crayfish will have a lesion looks kind of uh black dark rusty and kind of looks like it's decaying and sometimes you can see a bit of red it's just bad not good uh so basically what shell rot is is when the crayfish shell has been penetrated um and basically bacteria fungi all that stuff has entered the crayfish's shell now to understand shell rot and how it can affect your crayfish we have to understand the layers of a crayfish's shell so there are three layers in the outer layer and i'm not going to get into that uh in this video that could be its own video but basically the bacteria start to eat into the shell and into the crayfish um, and once the bacteria eats through all the three layers, it actually, uh, will start to get into the softer parts of the crayfish, and that is the new shell, the upcoming shell that the crayfish will molt into. And once it gets in to the inner, kind of, the inner new shell, that's a real problem, because what happens is the bacteria and the fungi, um, kind of fuse the outer shell into the inner shell. And then that's what happens, and that's how that's how crayfish actually die from shell rot. Because the crayfish will actually be unable to attach, um, I mean to detach its older shell from the inner shell because the lesion, the shell rot, and all the organisms have fused both shells. It's unable to detach it, it gets stuck in a molt, and it can die. So... And this is actually a really common disease, and a lot of people are probably freaking out right now. Like, oh my god, it's gonna kill my crayfish. But as with almost all diseases, the best treatment is prevention. Um, how you can prevent shell rot disease is to lower stress levels of a crayfish. When you stress out an animal, you're gonna make it more prone to any sort of diseases. And also, make sure your water quality is clean. Um, make sure if you keep it clean, then that way you won't have a ton of bacteria going into the crayfish, and that way your crayfish can heal if it gets cut any way, shape, or form. But also, a really important factor is stress. You want to have hiding spots in your tank, you want to have substrate, all that stuff. Make your crayfish feel like it's in its natural habitat. You don't want to um, overcrowd your tank. That's a pretty big and easy way to get shell rot disease um and you don't want to like spook your crayfish a lot uh over stressing it is just going to make it prone to illness so that's something you don't want to do but what if your crayfish already has shell rot like uh our cherax pulcher it came with shell rot and uh if your crayfish comes in the package with shell rot 
um and if it's a if it's an expensive tropical crayfish the my best guess is it got shell rot due to the stress of be being caught and then the stress of being put together they put the crayfish in these giant crates and they just stack them all up and then they go through processing and shipping that kind of stuff is most certainly going to stress out the crayfish a lot any kind of cuts um is going to give it shell rot probably uh, most likely actually and having an archer x poulter is actually a fighter uh she's super aggressive and she always wants to fight and that doesn't help at all because almost all of her uh, all of almost all the areas that she has shell rots in are battle scars places where crayfish usually attack each other uh during fights but that's enough chit chat about shell rot how do you treat it well there is no cure for shell rot there's nothing you can really do about it but you there are ways you can kind of slow down the process until the crayfish molts when the crayfish molts the shell rot should heal and that is when you know it is cured of shell rot so how do you slow down the process now some people say you can use melifix for smaller like for smaller cuts and scrapes that kind of stuff for smaller lesions you can use melifix um, personally, it's kind of, I don't recommend it. It's kind of debatable, um, because Melifix is, it uses, it uses a lot of bacteria and it can actually create more bacteria f to invade your crayfish and to breach your crayfish. So I don't use it myself. I just use salt baths and for salt baths, uh, this can vary for crayfish and just how you use your salt bath with other fish, um, but basically, you want to get a smaller container and then throw in some boiling water, throw in some salt, throw in some tank water, wait until it gets pretty warm, and then you can put your crayfish in it. Put an airstone in it to make sure the water's aerated, and then I put them in for like 10-15 minutes, and then take them out. I do this every couple days until they molt, and then that way I try to slow down the infection. There's a lot of sources online on how to do salt baths for crayfish, so just do your own research um, and you should be able to find a good salt bath that you like for your crayfish. Since I don't want to be uh, giving out salt bath instructions because uh, I guess everyone's different and every crayfish is different and it kind of depends on the size. The size of the crayfish, the size of the wound, the the condition of the shell rot all that stuff goes into how much salt you should put in the in your salt bath but um yeah so that's basically um my video on shell rot um this is not more of an informational video this is more of a treatment and a uh, crayfish pet keeping video on how to care for your crayfish if you guys want an informational video or scientific video on this uh just leave that in the comments um, but this is more of a guide and also my reaction to my own crayfish getting, um, getting shell rot. So, this is Crayfish Obsession. I'll see you in the next one. And, uh, I also posted a new updated version of our, of my Crayfish Plague video. The old one, the audio was really bad and you could barely hear anything. So, in this one, um, the audio is a lot better. And, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is Crayfish Obsession. See you later.